Today I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble an Xbox One. Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I have got an Xbox One. I'm going to be showing you. This is this is not my Xbox One. I actually have one that um, Tim donated to the channel. Was it last year? This year? It was a while ago. And I haven't touched that. I haven't done anything. It's in the house and it's working absolutely fine. A friend at work has um, given this to me to repair. It does state that apparently when he uses this, the uh, power light on the power supply it must be there I don't know I'll find it anyway it lights up does fine no problem and then goes yellow so I don't really understand so it might just be the power brick that's well, I'm seeing there that's fluff that's that's definitely needs to start with to come out but we're also going to be disassembling this anyway I mean, the, the state of this this is just fluff and crap this is a typical average everyday Xbox. I mean, these these actually are perfect for getting hold of now because they're, they're cheap and they are yeah you, they are a good little honest system that you can still get brand new games for. I mean, you can get the PS4, which are a little more tricky to strip down. This should be easy. Now let's get on with starting to strip down. It could be a long video, could be a short video, but we're going to see what's inside this. All the gunk and fluff, and I'm already, my nose is already itching anyway. So, one second. So what I'm going to need for this project so far is going to be some torque screws. There's a lot of bits in here. I think it's the torque 8, 9 and 10 we're going to need. So it's all these ones around here, possibly. That's an 8, 9 and 10. The star bits, basically. I'm not sure if this is a security bit or just the normal ones. We'll find that out eventually. I'm going to need some prying tools. Some a spudger. This has definitely seen some some action. I don't want to use the metal ones that I've got here, but if you're gonna, if this is your own, do what you want, honestly. But you might be damaging the plastic, so people using screwdrivers will bend the plastic, bend the plastic on the actual case. Plastic spudgers like this, or maybe even like little, little guitar picks might be better not to damage the plastic with. Yes, there's going to be some toothbrushes. That one's definitely needs a clean. But yeah, toothbrushes try and clean out as much of the vents as I can. And my trusty air blower. This needs... Oh yeah, that definitely needs a... a, a there's a sponge at the bottom there anyway. I have a video on this. These are absolutely essential. It saves using a tin of uh, air cleaner. It, it's just... Yeah, these just continued on sucking through the bottom, blow out very well through the top. So I'll be using that to blow out a lot of crap. Also dusting as well with other brushes. And there's already dust over all over everywhere anymore. <coughs> yes. So let's get on with first bit. I need to strip down the power supply and see whether or not that is actually a problem. Right, here's the power supply. I've actually, this is a quick cut for me. I've actually been testing this. I wasn't fully aware that this had a power brick because in here I have my S, my Xbox One S that was given to me by Muso John. And the power light goes orange when it's not plugged in. When this is plugged in to the Xbox, it goes white. Except this one doesn't. This one, well, now it's gone because of residual, residual um, electricity inside of there, stays orange when this is plugged in. Now, I do have the one from mine. This is what Tim gave me. I still got the plastic on there. Um, this does, when plugged in to the Xbox, does turn white. So, um, probably... It's going to be that that's the problem. Yes, the Xbox needs tearing down. So what I'm going to do is strip this down, clean it out, and see if that is the only problem. The electricity is gone, so that's safe to use. Well, safe-ish to use. There will be capacitors with things inside here, so be careful. Now, it looks quite obvious that this comes out as all four feet will pry out, and there should be four screws underneath. I will take that out, and we'll have a look inside. 
to show you one of these to take out get something thin put it under the any of the edges with this one obviously somebody's tried taking this out and they've ripped the rubber the silicon part from the actual plastic bung just put underneath one part maybe put your thumb over top of it just get a whittle just to try and evenly bring it up you pry it up that way you might rip off and that releases these four screws here and I can quite easily get a torque screwdriver and get it open Four T10 torque security screws later, and there was one with the hole in the, in the screwdriver. The lid comes off with one, looks like it's a, is that for the power light? No. Where is the power light? The power light should be on the board. This is really caked in crap. Main capacitor there. I'd probably discharge that if I was you. I'm not going to dig too deep into that. You put a screwdriver across the terminals right inside there. I can take this fully out, possibly. Maybe. Well, we'll have to anyway. There we go. That just slides straight out. Oh, what the hell? How the hell has dust gone into balls? That might be the uh, title of the... The, the, you know, the episode dust balls. So I'm going to try and touch nothing. I can touch the top of those. Pull this cable off, which gives us what is that? That's got more crap in there. Two and another two positive drive screws to come out. There's the light part for that. So the LED must be in that corner, which is kind of covered over. Is it? Ah, I see the problem now. Is that capacitor it's domed okay so this is a bit of a thing so that needs replacing definitely if i've got spares i'll do them three i'll, I'll price this up because on, on 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 amazon these are about 25 pounds we're not even trying look at all the dust that's coming off here this is a typical it's in somebody's house and yes it's next to the carpet probably i'll have a bit of word with yeah, my work colleague, when I get this back to him. Look at that, weird. So, what I need to do is, you don't need to see this, because to be honest, it's a bit dull. You know, I can brush some of this stuff off. A lot of this will be... Oh, I need the door open for this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely not getting proper regulated. Oh, there's the LED. Right, OK, that's right inside there. So you've got three different types of LED in there, potentially. So you've got your yellow, your... your probably a red there's really problems yeah so i'm going to clean this up a lot of this is kind of like black a, a bra silicon gray silicon holding things in place i mean don't, that looks fine these three look all right but i might replace those four capacitors hmm. so i need a good clean and the uh, i'm still weirded out about these dust balls hmm yeah okay back on track one sec. So I'm going along. These air compressors, these blowers are absolutely amazing for the power they do. The, 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 the narrower the nozzle, the more pre the more pressure the air's going out. That has to be there in case you do that, and it'll stop it blowing up. But they come with a flexible hose, which was nice to start with until the flexible bit broke. So I just jury rigged this to fit into there maybe put some tape over there then you've got a brush while you're actually i'm not going to do it because i'm not co covering everything in dust in here while you're doing you're blowing and you're brushing things off as well makes it a little bit easier or just use a blower toothbrush or better still one of these so yeah it, it is quite dirty i'm not quite sure what that is that must be sorry two that must be the fan yeah that fan will be clogged up so yes Cleaning this out, when you next see it, it'll be ready, nice and clean. Now, the more I'm getting into this, the more I think this is going to be a power supply only um, repair. I mean, we're between £25, is it worth it? Well, we'll have a go. Right, top section of the power supply, the bottom section, and that's nicely cleaned out. This needs a damn good... Oh, it's, it's... Yeah, I clean myself hands thoroughly after when I finish stuff like this. this because it, you just don't know nowadays. This has been sat in a bag for, for a week, just in case with, with COVID and stuff like that. So we have, this has already been done, two large screws there. I didn't need to remove those. Um, two small screws there, which then takes this section out. Two small section screws over here. And I don't know if there's anything underneath there or not, so I'm just going to take it out anyway. And then this section here 
comes out and all. No wonder it's not working. Normally it's probably overheated and yeah. I mean, sometimes these just, just weird me out a little bit because it's just, it's disgusting. Yeah, I didn't need to take that out, but I think, yeah, I probably did actually. So they're going to be clean, that's going to be clean. What's underneath here? Um, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So get this cleaned, blown out, and then we'll see if we can get it working. I was actually thinking for a second then that maybe over the top of here was a filter because that's all that came out from it. This is definitely an Xbox on the floor or stuff behind somewhere that's a very dusty house. Dirty, dirty man. Now, I think <laughs> that's, that's a, a lot better. There's a little bit of dust on. This is not mine and I'm not giving it an absolute perfect. I want this to work more than to be pristine and sat on the shelf and I think the owner of this will be quite happy with that anyway. Now that fan works fine, but there's nothing in there now. Nothing of consequence, shall we say. So, put them back together. I need to put the two big screws back in there. I've already put the two small screws, that's why you're only seeing two up there, for the pack, that's the, the part which goes, yeah, it, it potentially, it might have been left over from when there was maybe a development kit or, or some other thing like that, where they might have put an extra fan in, or differently laid out the fan. I mean, it's, there's only the vent there, sucks in there, blows out there. So there's less airflow inside here than what potentially could be. Maybe just didn't need that much. So yeah, so reassemble a little bit and then we can crack on with the actual power supply itself. Fan in place. You basically then put this to the edge of here. There's a guide right in there where this piece of plastic right there goes into. And this piece of plastic goes behind this tab over here. Watch the cable and then it goes. Sit in place, two screws here. A little screwdriver. What when you're doing this? These screws appear to be quite delicate, so they're, they're just shredding the tops without even too much effort. Unless it's either soft screws or they're just made really, really cheaply. So everything's back in place, everything looks a lot cleaner. That top bit, I can't get that to shine. I don't know what the hell's on top of here, but it is a lot more cleaner than what it was. Isopropanol, and all, I've had it soaking and it just doesn't seem to do too much, but I know it feels cleaner. So, yeah, if it was mine, I would probably, I don't polish anything. It does actually look like the film that should be on top of it, because mine, my actual power supply has the film. You can tell that with the bubbles. But um, yeah, could be hours pull it, pushing those out, here you go. But it's not, this, it is the same power supply, but it's just weird. Oh, it's just, pitted so okay so that's ready that's ready now we need to tidy up a tiny bit and tackle that with a definite dome on the power supply that's definitely what's replaced 1500 ultra ferrets 16 volts you can increase the voltage a little bit on that one so that could go 22 volts a little bit more it's not a, a problem with that the ultra farad the actual rating yeah keep it as keep it as is three of these 2200 by 16, I might have those. I'm not sure I have that. Definitely not gonna replace that, I don't need to. Now, to get the board off of the heat sink, I have to unsolder this and that. So, it doesn't look very good solder to start with. Hmm. So, I need to desolder, takes this, this metal shielding off, which then takes this plastic part off, which is then releasing. You see, it's, it's on there. I could cut but I'm not going to, I'm going to do it easy because I've got a soldering iron and take off the board and then we can start stripping these caps. Both of these tabs now desoldered so they're free from the board. I'll tidy up a little bit of solder before I re-put these back on. This should now, I'm guessing it's stuck in here. There you go, it's just prized in place, stuck in with these. A little bit, oh, so that's residue from flux. That's fine, these little bits over here. Hoping nothing's blown on this. This will get a, a bit of a clean. Nothing major, anything dust will be off here. And thermal pads, so obviously they want to be not exactly pushed away. A bit weird. So, if I was doing this, I would put a screwdriver between these two parts here, is it? No, this side beside. 
potentially inside there and here, or maybe this arrow right there and underneath here. Yeah, I'd probably just tap a screwdriver together. I've never actually done this before, but it's the safer part of... Yeah, I think that's potentially done. It just needs a, a short that just de discharges the capacitor. Rest room, fine, there won't be any problem at all. So, desoldering. Definitely that one, which gives me the pins. I think it's there. I'll put the solder in the, the pin there. That one there and that one there wants to come off. Definitely not. I'm not too bothered about these. If, I can, if I've got a 1500, because like I said, like you can definitely see it domed. So it's, it's dead. It needs replacing before anything major happens. There's no leakage. So, desolder there and there take this off and get a replacement fitted. Now with this nasty capacitor out, I do have one. And surprisingly, I do have a uh, 1500 by 16 volts. I would like a bit more voltage, but it's just replacing like for like, which is fine. It's, it's a different manufacturer, it's a different size, but it's not like the legs are any different or if it's got, got four or five legs, it's fine. It, it's, it's perfect replacement. So I've cleaned out the holes, and I'll show you these anyway. The, the, the negative side is always with the, the nice thick part there. Actually, I'll get you in a little bit so you can see you better. There we go. Now I'll keep my hands here. The negative side's there. The positive goes into the black there. The back of it at the back. So it's a longer leg the positive. Just slides in, slides in, done. I'll just twist it because it's been in the box a while. So there, what I'll do is I'll just pull either side for those and just turn it on like that. Now I need my soldering iron to heat up and have some solder. Put you back in the right place. I'm just going to just solder those up and then cut the legs off, as simple as that. So then after that I will be getting, I've already cleaned out the holes on here on the other side to put the heat shield back on, which I can do off camera. I'll just show you this. There we go. A bit clean that I think. Yeah, so, not to go ballistic but this should be fine there we go nicely done make sure it's all on there done easy turn the solder iron off get my cutters cut off the extra legs because we don't need that no more so that's fine and that it is quite big actually to be honest I mean, it's not touching anything. There's a lot of solder. I'll just dab a little bit away. That'll do. A bit better. So, right, so heat sink. Where is that? It's up here. So all I need to do is make sure it's the right way round, because it'll only go one way, because it's not in this middle, not cent centralised. So it wants to go that way around. Da -da -da -da. Actually, it wants to go this side. So we just want to go that way around. Push in place. Push those through. This is just a grounding plane, that's all this is. There, there. And I'm just going to solder in from this side and over here just to hold this plate back on. So I do need the soldering iron back on. I just cool down too much. There we go, that's fine. I didn't really need to desolder this as much as I did. In there, yeah. Got the camera in the right place, that's good news takes a bit. I could probably do both sides and push down a little bit on that. No, that's not needed. There you go. Just turns and it's fine. On this side you've got these, these two legs on here. This wants to be covered with that leg as well. So plenty and plenty of solder covering that part there. Really shouldn't have desoldered and wasted the solder as much as what I did. That looks so the changes color just dries off more of a matte finish right this is ready for testing and i'm not going to be stupid enough to go oh i'll just plug it in here now now, now this is going back in the box it's probably not going to be screwed back in place back in the box but it should be fine yeah looking at it it looks perfectly all right yeah, I'm happy enough with it. Right, I'm putting this back in. I'll just show you something here, if you're going to do this yourself. When you're putting the board back in, there are two little tabs right here. So you put this board in 
like that way first and then bring it down. Now that's to show you now, I'll take that back out. So don't just drop it straight on because it needs to go into these little, these three pegs here. So in, like that, so it's just going underneath that and then it'll drop the other side. Make sure that pat, pat the socket there is, is between there so it's nice and sturdy. This part of the cable tie, well the cable strengthening goes in there. Fan, got to find where the fan header is which is over here. So this goes in that way because they're LED plastics there. So put this back on, you can see where it goes on there. Will only go one way, push it into place. There's no controls, the cable should be fine wherever it goes as long as it's not being trapped by the case. A little bit of wiggle room for that side on here. It's better to push it in so it's, it's flat, perfectly against there. That side should go in as well. And I'm ready for testing. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna show you what I mean about with the yellow lights. This is switched on, so this is now live, the two pinned kettle plug. So that goes in of mine. This is mine, right? So that is glowing yellow, orange just there, so with the lights down a little bit. This should, this will only go in one way as well, so that should turn white when it's in. There you go. So that's now white. It's not very bright, but it doesn't have to be anyway. So that is a fully working power supply working fine. When it's out, it goes back to orange, meaning it's not, it's not completing the circuit. So let's try the other one that we've just Fix. If this goes bang, this is brilliant YouTube. So we have orange. With it being cleaned out, I can't actually hear the fan going. Maybe it only goes up to a certain temperature. So it looks like when it goes in, there's plain on one side and the Xbox logo on the top. Hopefully that should turn white. And it does. Brilliant. Or it's just turned off. No, no, that's definitely turned white. So that's an improvement on what we had before. The fan has just come on. Can you hear it? Cool. So that's actually working perfectly. So that could be the issue here. And if you've got one that goes yellow and all that, just follow the guide, well, follow the video, it should be fine. Now, for, let me just try and see if the Xbox will work. Oh. That went quick and then stopped. That's very strange. See, I don't have this issue with mine. Is it meant to make that much noise? It, it kind of comes on and off all the time. I think it's just a... Maybe it's just getting used to... Hmm. Perhaps the fan wasn't as good as... Um, I'm going to go in back into it and I'm actually going to oil the fan. That might help me out a little bit. Now, when I mean oil, I was going to put some WD-40 on the actual motor. So take this part out and underneath put the, what do you call it, put the, some little dab of WD-40 just keeps keep things moving a little bit. I don't think I need to. I think what this was doing just then with the buzzing was the cable for this was actually trapping on it or something was brushing against it but I'm not touching anything because this is live so the minute oh it actually works just turn the xbox on thank you so that's now silent so I must figure out why that yeah something was brushing against that Try that again. Yeah, something was brushing against it. So I'm going to put this back together properly and see why it was brushing. It's probably because, where's this grit go? The LED is over here. So this bit will go on there. It's, it's probably just brushing against possibly the top of this transformer. It might not be as seated in as I'd hoped for. But it looks okay to me. Okay, so that's not making a noise, so it's not an issue with the fan, it's with the, with the actual seating of it. Yeah, I've got it working back again now. I'm convinced that this cable, all right, but when this is actually in, it, there's, 
there's definitely something pushing against that when it's screwing in place. But I think maybe the cable underneath it was just pushing one corner or something on this. I was making the noise because it's not doing a damn thing now. So put this back together again. Make sure it's... Oh, by the way, kids, don't do this. This is stupid. I am being as careful as possible. I'm not having another um, cub monster incident. So, yeah, it, 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 this, is this is very dangerous. And potentially, um, yeah, death, shall we say. And this isn't my last video. Um, yeah, put this back in with the power off and it should be fine. I think I've just put that cable in the wrong place and it was just pushing on that case there. And there's the lid on. The fan is definitely going. Yeah, it's the cable, it, it threads into, if you watch where the cable is, it's kind of almost cable memory where it goes. It goes down, up and round the back and it's out of the way so it wasn't pushing against the case. So that's done, that's actually done now. So four screws back here, oh, actually, these are the two small screws holding that case bit on, then four screws on, and then we're potentially done. Four torque screws in. Now they just push these feet, pit, just, yeah, easy for me to say, um, just push back into place. That's an email, that's another video I've done. And you're done. I can hear this, I can hear that whirring nicely. This is working as well. This isn't plugged into the television, but this is gonna be now another video. So that is, I'm quite happy. I've got a, a very dim white light, but you don't want glaring lights for this sort of stuff anyway. That's why the Xbox is, is, is what it is. I mean, yeah, chav things up as much as you want and put lots of LEDs all over the thing. Yeah, I'd love doing that, but potentially at the moment, done. So that's my, that's the power supply for this system, all working fine. I can hear the fan in here going, but I can see so much fluff in here. I'll just turn that off. So yeah, power supply. That's how you service your Xbox One power supply. I mean, the Xbox One S doesn't have one. It's all built inside, which is a lot nicer. Um, I've never had a series, any of the series S, series X, if you've got a broken one and you want me to repair it, if you want, well, not to repair it, if you want to give it to the channel, it'd be nicer. But I have never been inside one. I've watched so many videos about doing them and I'm quite happy to, um, yeah, do whatever. So please like, share and subscribe, follow, follow me on social media. Um, tons of videos on the channels about different consoles, different all sorts. This is the first one of actually going towards the Xbox One. I have stripped down the Xbox One S that was donated this year and I didn't actually do much of a video on that. I just felt like I wanted to get it done and I was happy with that. They'll be servicing and stuff in the future. I'm sure I'll strip it down again. So with that in mind, this is working and we're in very, very nice and quietly. So come back for when we're actually doing the Xbox One and I'll see you in, hopefully in that video, if not one of the other videos. I'm waffling now, bye for now.